to do what he does. One of the things that he does is, is translate from ancient languages into, into modern languages. And that's what this group is about. And in these classes, we're here to learn to do that translation, to learn the meaning of the philosophy contained in these old books. And I think along the way, we're even learning how to teach it. And all of you who are, who are paying, tuning into these classes, you're not only um, listening to classes about language, but you're listening to the ideas. You're learning about some of the most complex and profound topics in all of philosophy and in all of the world, because these things are life-changing. And, you know, if we're the kind of people who are interested in changing the world and helping the world and helping all of the people to be, you know, happier and helping the world to have less pain, this is one of the highest and most powerful things we can do. So thank you all for turning, tuning in. Like, I'm really, I'm really grateful that there are so many people in the world who are interested in doing this. And it's my great honor to help facilitate these classes to happen. And uh, I'm really grateful to the other translators, all the participants and the team, the tech team and Tim, who's making this all, um, you know, streamable and making the recordings available. So, and the translators, especially who are making this available in multiple languages. So um, enjoy. And here's Gashay Michael Roach. Hi, thanks, Nick. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I'll give a five minute uh, advertisement. Uh, so uh, I haven't traveled for two and a half years. And uh, we got a very important invitation to uh, Peru, Latin America. And there's a company there called uh, Business Network International. Uh, they, they're actually a global company. Uh, they have 176 countries and they have 280,000 members. Uh, and the, all those members are businesses. So some of those businesses are very large. So I think it's over a million members. And they asked us to come to Latin America uh, because they love DCI. They, they love the ideas. They love these ancient ideas uh, being presented in the modern world. And the director of uh, Latin America, uh, who's in charge of 10,000 businesses, uh, he likes DCI so much, he became a DCI teacher, and uh, Francisco Pujol. And so I wanted to show you a picture from there. Can I share a screen with you? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Where are you? I don't know, Nick. I'm... Hang on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We do have a problem. So whoever happens to be oh. the, the real host right now, can you just click on the sharing options and change it from only host to all participants, please? I've already done that. You can do it. I'll give it a shot, Gashala. Uh, okay, let me try. I'm not sure. Um, it might be something on my own computer. I'm changing computers. No, it didn't seem to work, uh, the, the option. Right. So you could just make me host for a sec. Or well, that might not work. Uh, let's do Well, I got to do it to show my. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, to it, be able like, to do it. It's the main thing about the yeah. translation. It program. might be my new computer. Uh, oh, here, now, now it should work. Right. I should laugh. Go ahead. No, I still have to do something. Hang on. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, it is. It is on for me now. It, 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 yeah, you, you have to open your open your security settings. Is that what it's asking to do? Yeah. Do yeah. I go under general or privacy or? I don't remember how to do that? Uh, um, uh, I almost do. Let's see. It, it's oh. security. Yeah, security and privacy. Privacy. I'm sure. Uh, hang on. Speech recognition. No, I don't see here. Uh, Oh, I'm under security and privacy. And um, then uh, screen recording, I think. 
Mm. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. and the, the privacy tab in security and privacy. Yeah, I'm there. Um, uh, screen I, recording. I, I got it. That's it. <laughs> oh, Maybe. Zoom wants to do it. Uh, Zoom will not be able to record the contents until it is quit. So I quit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll see you in a yeah. moment. We look forward okay. to seeing you. Soon. Uh, hey. <laughs> Please come back. Please come back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Quick, well, everybody now, act naughty. Yes. Just in case you don't have the schedule, here's the schedule to classes. Just dropped it in the chat. Thank you. Oh, Nick. Um, I know, I know. Don't even say it. I'm going to figure that out. You got it. Out. Okay. Okay. Working on it. It's a it's a strange mistake because I paid for that not to be the case. But sometimes I think you get certain features for webinars, but not for meetings. Right. You ha you have to get large meeting. Okay. Would that be under profile? There, you, the, um, you hit the purchase. Oh. It's yeah, under, I, I, um, I got that. Um, I think it's under uh, billing. Yeah, billing. Uh, account management and then billing. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, uh, yeah, frankly, otherwise he may not be able to rejoin. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. If you scroll down to the bottom where it says large meeting, uh, halfway down. There it is. Yep. Oh, man. I hope that doesn't mean we have to all drop out. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I guess I bought it for webinars. Yeah. They have all these weird features. If you don't get them in the right order in the right places, they it just doesn't work. Yeah. But it's really nice that they give you a way to spend your money instantly for good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and charge you forever. Uh, okay. It's updated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He had that issue. So. Okay. Yay. Let's see. We're coming back. Okay. Oh, can yeah. you? Yes. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So um, we had a very successful conference in Peru last week. And uh, you have to ride the train up to this ancient city of the Incas. Uh, because I think they cannot build a highway in this road, in these mountains. And uh, on the way, uh, we were finishing the corporate uh, registration of our new MBA program, university, uh, in the United States and Japan. And uh, we sent it from the train. <laughs> we sent the corporate uh, application. Uh, from the train. And then we reached Machu Picchu, this ancient city. Uh, and on the tour, the tour guy said, oh, hey, you guys, uh, this wasn't a city. This was a university. You know, And this part here is an ancient university. And uh, they showed me all the dormitories and the lecture rooms. And I have to say the Professor's room was the largest, okay, Nick? Uh, Keep that in mind. <laughs> and uh, then the, the guide, who's the Inca, she gave us this uh, map of the university, you know, and it was, it was really exciting. And uh, then on the way home in the train, uh, we got permission to have the university uh, from the government, uh, from the U.S. government, 
and uh, it was it was very exciting. And when I reached, uh, I got back to the hotel. Uh, the BNI world directors, uh, they were ready with the film crew, and they said, uh, "We want to make a, a video about uh, what you guys are doing." And uh, and it was a surprise. And I was standing out there next to two llamas. You know, llamas like a big sheep. <laughs> and, uh, and I was working on Adam's uh, translation. So Adam's first book is almost ready for publishing. And uh, I was working on it in, in the day when I wasn't giving talks. And it's all about logic, you know. So they turned on the camera to the 280,000 members. And I said, you know, um, I'm working on this Mixed Nuts book uh, called Logic, Ancient Logic. And I just want to show you how, how useful it is uh, because many people think it's not useful. And their company has a special uh, policy and it's called giver's gain. It means those companies which help other companies, they will be successful. Uh, and that's the whole foundation of their, of their big, big organization. And I said, uh, did you guys ever wonder something about giver's gain? Uh, if I help another company, if my company helps another company and I get a lot more money, uh, which is what's happening with their organization. Uh, I said, where does that money come from? You know, who, who does it come from another company? Are you taking money from another company? Uh, or is that new money in the world? Is that uh, created new wealth is created? Or is the world like a pizza and you are taking uh, pieces from somebody else? It's called zero sum game, right? Uh, if I get some more, then you get less, you know? And I, I used Adam's book in this video for 280,000 companies uh, to prove that you are creating new wealth, you know? And, and then in this way, the whole world could have more prosperity it's according to adam's book it's possible that the whole world can have more prosperity uh, if they study mixed nuts okay so uh i i thought it was a wonderful uh video and a wonderful uh conference and and that's how mixed nuts is changing the world so i just want you guys to know you know there's 280,000 companies uh, watching uh, the next Mixed Nuts book to come out uh, in, the in the future about this crazy Buddhist logic. And I think it's so awesome uh, that what we're doing uh, can change the whole world. And so I just want to, I wanted to give you a real example of, of something that we're doing and everything we do it's like that. So I wanted to, you know, just tell you guys, uh, it's exciting to have you here in the mixed nuts. I know it's difficult and I know these texts are really difficult, uh, but I, I, I say, if you, if you sit here, oh gosh, here comes a deer. Uh, <laughs> try to, Hang on. Can you guys see the deer? Mm -mm. No. No. She's so <laughs> sneaky. Yes, I saw it. He's walking outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh something's moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I have a really important class, the deer comes here. Uh, 
So I think it means uh, this must be an important class today. Hang on. Oh, I got so much stuff here. Okay, so I know the material is difficult and uh, I know it's really hard to, to keep up, but every time you come to these classes, uh, you will learn something that you can use in your real life, okay? And, and that's what's happening in the whole world uh, from the mixed nuts. So I want to, you know, thank all the <laughs> mixed nuts. The reason why I didn't have mixed nuts in the past was that uh, they all quit. <laughs> and uh, now we have 12 great translators and they didn't give up. <laughs> And nobody in five years. Uh, and uh, also, uh, hang on, what is that? Uh, oh, okay. And uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool to me uh, that no one has quit, and that we are working uh, really, really hard and making good progress. And new books are coming out every few months. And I'd like to thank everybody and the people who come here uh, and the people who, who listen to this. Uh, it changes your life, okay? I know you don't understand everything, uh, but it has a big effect on your mind. It changes your mind a lot. So uh, I really encourage you to keep, keep coming, okay? All right. Uh, I think it's Stanley Chen. Stanley, I'm going to turn the screen over to you. I think you have a presentation about your book. Ah, okay. Thank you, Geshe-la. Uh I thought it would be more friendly for our audience to do a brief review at the beginning of this term uh, of, of the first class of, of Abhidhamma. Uh, so I made a little my map which i would love to share with all of you uh okay just brief three minute review so this book is called abhidhamma kosha it's written by master vasubanu 1700 years ago now we are reaching to the second chapter of the book it's about uh, the powers and the second chapter has three. By the way, can you guys see my mouse? Yes. yes. Oh, good. good. Okay. The, the, um, it has three major parts. Number one is uh, explanation on the 22 powers. And then that's where we are right now. And later we'll talk about how like caused things start. And then we did a detour about the 46 mental functions before, and that belongs to this part. And then later, we'll talk about how causes, factors, and results happen or start. Again, we did a, another detour before <laughs> and uh, about the four factors and six causes. Uh, so, you know, we can look forward to it later. There are more. And now back to the 22 powers. <laughs> it has another list of four. Four minor topics of the 22. Number one is how do we decide if something is a power or not? So it's quali qualification. And then second one is about the number. Why 22? Why not 23? Why not 21? Wow, Ben Kramer looks so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's focused. He's totally focused. He's trying to read <laughs> and, the Chinese. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm this close. Seven more life. Very close. Oh, that's Chinese. <laughs> 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 and then number three is uh, some definitions, some about, especially about the five feelings of powers and the three unseen powers. Number four is uh, classification, which I don't know what it's about yet because we are not there yet. And then um, if you look on the right, 
basically these are the 22 uh, five physical powers like the eyes ears nose etc and then masculine and feminine powers is uh, the second group and the third group is the power of life and the power of awareness itself and then the five powers of feelings and the last one is eight like unstained powers like the faith and etc and now uh, we went through all of this like meanings uh, like uh, ideas of the 22 powers from two different schools, basic, basically, mainly uh, the detailist and sutrist. Uh, now we are reaching to this part, uh, more detailed explanation on the five powers of feelings. And uh, we talk about the definition of uh, the meaning of the words. And then now we are reaching the dialectical analysis. And that's where term 17 starts. That's it. Uh, and according to Asia's plan, I think we, are, we will reach, we'll finish this, at least finish this part, the definition. <laughs> this is yeah. the definition of a power, Stanley? Yeah, you will find out. And there are some debates, you know, about them. Do did we get a preliminary definition of what a power is yet? I, oh, I know I was there if it happened, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, here in the first part. Basically, a uh, thing it's called power because it asserts powers in different ways or in different, uh, you know, places. And then we had a discussion about, uh, about this name power. And in Chinese, somehow it's translated into roots. Mm -hmm. And they call it roots because it create things basically. Mm -hmm. So that's um, I checked. Geshe, I checked different Chinese commentaries, and mm -hmm. so far there's only one translation. It's all they all use root mm -hmm. for, for for wombos somehow. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, yeah. and that's it. That's the brief review from all the right. um, sixteen. Okay. Cool. And uh, I guess. I later I had you gave me a homework about tra translating the um, the f the first debate of turn mm -hmm. seven. Do you want to do the whole thing first, like the, your plan on the on this, and then I'll uh, yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll come to you. How's that? Okay. Yes. Yes, please. All right. That's a beautiful mind map, and it's a great way to prepare for your class. And uh, I, I hope all the mixed nuts would, would try to do something like that because uh, it's a really great way to get ready for your class, I think. And uh, sometimes we spend so many hours on the words that we don't see the whole elephant, you know, we're just touching the elephant in different places. Uh, so I think that's really great. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let me see here. <clears throat> okay, here's a progress report, which I like to do at the beginning of each term, especially for our kind sponsors. And just so you know, uh, what's the progress for each, for each uh, different translation. So we have 12 translations. We are doing the most important books uh, from the last two and a half thousand years. So we chose 12 different uh, subjects. Uh, and those are the main subjects of all of the ancient uh, literature. Uh, and each one has developed a different language, uh, sometimes for 2000 years. And so uh, the language of each of those 12 books is different. And if you really, and that's why the Geshe course has five different topics, because we have to learn uh, the five most important uh, languages within this tradition. And so you guys don't appreciate it, I think, or know much about it, but you are, you are learning all the languages. And I don't think there's anyone in the world doing that. Even in the even in the great uh, monastic colleges, I think you guys are 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 probably the only people in the world who are 
studying all 12 languages. And, uh, and of course, those languages affect each other. If you're very good at Vinaya, then your Abhidharma is going to be strong. And like that, even in the middle way. So here's the progress. Uh, we finished Stanley's first book classes uh, recently. And that book is going to be, I don't know, uh, 300 pages. Uh, all of his book is going to be uh, completed in six books. And we will finish the classes in 2033 when grandpa is 110. Uh, and that's why I'm choosing uh, young translators uh, because it is a, a multi-decade project. Each, each book is five to 10 years uh, at least uh, to finish them. So Stanley's first 300 page book uh, is ready to go to uh, editing now and first editing and then final editing. Okay, uh, so we're in the second book. The first book, is called The Categories of Existence. And I think, uh, Ben Kramer, if you don't want to sell a book, if you want to make sure you don't sell a book, I think if you call it The Categories of Existence, uh, <laughs> probably you're safe. Uh, and then uh, the second book is going to be called The Powers. And that's the book that we're in now. Okay, Stanley, I think you had a debate to translate. You want to go ahead? I'll I'll give yeah. up the screen here. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, all right. Um, I got a problem about the names of the five feeling powers, Kishore. So yeah. this is just a temporary. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Because we have to distinguish them physical uh, yeah. and mental feelings. So I use pain and pleasure for physical and unhappiness and happiness for mental. I think that's a good choice, those four. Okay. Neutrality, I'm not so I'm neutral about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it, Isha. If you want to. Okay. Let me see. Because uh, someone's going to say something is the, someone is the feeling power of pain. It must always be the feeling power of pain. Uh, so we're not achieving. Good. Okay. Uh, so what you mean there were one more change The power of happiness must be the feeling power of pain. Uh, yeah, now you're, oh, it's already difficult. Yeah. Uh, there are tell and must be, okay. Uh, then I agree that if something's the feeling power of pain, must always feeling power of pain. You do agree with him, the physical pain. Yeah, okay. I like the translation. So far, it should be an outer feeling, then, right? It should be a. Uh, oh, wait. I'm at the end, yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Here? It's good. If, yeah. if, uh, if the mental feeling of unhappiness is a kind of pain, then are you saying it's, it's the physical feeling of pain and not the emotional feeling of pain, right? And mm -hmm. if it's the physical feeling of pain, then it should be an outer feeling. Yeah. Cheat oh, Good. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, in other words, if unhappiness, and the, the problem is the same in English as it is in the ancient Asian languages, is that uh, the, the word pain uh, and the word suffering can be inner and outer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, unhappiness can only be inner. So mm -hmm. here he's saying, uh, is unhappiness pain? And the guy says, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he says, well, then is it outer feeling? Because in the Abhidharma, we're trying to keep straight which one is outer and which one is inner. Right. And the outer one we call pain and the inner one, or suffering, and the inner one we call unhappiness. And it's exactly the problem here. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you call unhappiness pain? Uh, and if you do, are you saying that unhappiness is, is a feeling that focuses on outside things? Uh, right, okay. 
And I think it's interesting, these synonyms here. You want to talk about them, Stanley? Oh, so there are three words, uh, physical feelings, outer feelings, and this sense power feelings. And it says they're all the same, basically. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy, right? If you think about it. Uh, yeah, okay. They, they must all be focused out. Stanley, in what school are you going to have a lot of problems with this division? Uh, Let's go to another language. I don't need school? Yeah. 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 <laughs> when you get to word school, you're going to, this, this presentation is crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to have a Okay. Uh, okay, good. You can't agree because feeling power of unhappiness is an inner feeling. Uh, good. It's a mental feeling, right? Uh, case because mental feeling, inner feeling. Yeah, and then three more synonyms, right? Mm -hmm. What are the three synonyms? Mental feeling, inner feeling, and uh, the feeling of mental awareness. Yeah, good. By the way, I'll give you a, I'll give you an option here. Okay. Uh, and it happened. I'm working on uh, Adam's final translation now. And uh, there come parts like this. And in English, these three are not technically completely synonyms. Uh, but you can say synonymous. So it's spelled uh. M-O-U-S. Uh, at the end, uh, okay. M O U S. No, synonym must. Yeah, and that's a little bit more comfortable in English uh, because it doesn't mean they're exactly the same. It just means they have the same general sense, you know. But they are not words. You cannot use one of these words for another word. You see, what I mean, so in a synonym like uh, unchanged, sorry. Changing and functional thing, uh, they are synonymous, but they don't exactly mean the same thing. Uh, so it's difficult to call them synonyms, uh, but you can call them synonymous, and you and you a little bit you get out of the problem. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's touchy. Yeah. But the rest is very very good, and uh, I'm very happy with this translation. It's cool. It's very good. cool. Who uh, helped you on that? Did you do it by yourself or? Uh, a student of the student of Shenzhen, basically. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm using some Chinese commentary. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. All right. Well, he had a he did a pretty good job, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. Uh, okay, let's get to work. Uh, share my screen. Okay, so Stanley finished this part very well, or Shensong student of student. Uh, and we're ready here. Uh, Nick, do you want to check Stanley's pronunciation? Absolutely. Okay, uh, let, me, uh, let me give you guys a, a cursor. Ooh, display. Oops. What? Oh, okay. All right. Can you see my arrow? Yeah. Yeah, it's much bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Kachik. So, uh, they were one bo inna. So, uh, not share way. They were one bo in be katsuna. Okay, Nick, you want to go slow and help him out with this? Um, okay. If something is the sort of a day we won't do. Mm -hmm. Stanley, do you remember what that is? So I is pain, right? Suffering and uh, 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 sort oh. was the feeling, the general the feeling. Pattern. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the opposite. It's the the pleasure. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. Good. If something is the the power of pleasure. Then it must be what? Uh, pleasure Somewhere. as a member of what? 
the five feeling the five yeah, power yeah. things yeah. so is there a difference between pleasure as we speak about pleasure in general in the world and pleasure as it's one of the five feelings okay is there a difference okay this guy says if it's a general pleasure it must fit into the division of five in the abhidharma okay all right and it's this it's the opposite debate that you just had right right okay please read nick is checking you so uh you the way one for church the tell did you <laughs> yeah uh so what's the example he wants to take by the way, this is a counterexample, right? This is supposed to be an exception. It's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, something that it's is, a, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, a it's, pleasure, but not feeling, but not uh, feeling the five, basically. One of the five, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna take the power, one of the five. Uh, which is one of the, how many powers? The five? Yeah, five and the five among the 22, right? So yeah. let's take uh, mental pleasure, okay? Let's consider the power of mental pleasure. Are you telling me it's one of, are you telling me that it's one of the five feelings? Uh, because it is a power of pleasure, okay? Mm. By the way, I would say it is one of the five feelings, right? It is. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to me. Let's see where he goes. Uh, okay. Please read. Nick, you're still checking. The tell so wa la sun du che wei so wa de ba yin be chu. De wa. De wa. Oh, de wa. In Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see something here. It's part of the division of three. I don't think this should have been you here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's trying to say happiness in general or something. Yeah, I think we got to check, but I think it's a mistake in the text. Okay. Uh, he should not have chosen mental good feeling. He should have chosen good feeling. Okay. He just have, should have choos, chosen good feeling. Good feeling, when you don't say mental or physical, it's not one of the five. It's one of the... 22. Okay. It's one of three divisions of Sorwa, right? Okay. So feeling is classically divided into three or five. Okay. Three. You can five, say yeah. good feeling, bad feeling, neutral feeling, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you want to get more detail, you say mental good feeling, physical good feeling, mental bad feeling, mental physical bad feeling, and neutral. Why don't they say, Stanley, Neutral mental feeling and neutral physical feeling. Why don't they say that? Well, because neutral is so neutral that it doesn't. No, good. <laughs> neutral is so, uh, is so unclear that we don't divide it into mental and physical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the Abhidharma system. So this debate is mistaken. Somebody has made a mistake in the carving or something. He, mm -hmm. he should have taken Sorwa Dewe Wambo. Uh, he sh the Chichen should have been the counter example should be good feeling in general okay as one of the three okay why because it's a power it, is, it does assert power it's not one of the 22 powers okay but it is a power it's an indriya uh, of good feeling but it's not one of the five feelings it's not one of the five powers. It's too general. Okay, oh. got it? So he, the debate here is mistaken. There's something uh, wrong with the text, okay? Uh, okay? So if you say, listen, 
all powers which are good feeling are one of the 22 powers, I can say no. And you say, well, what's your counterexample? And I say, well, what about if we divide feeling into three? Just good, bad, and, and neutral. And we don't talk about inner and outer. That, those three are not part of the 22 powers, except for the neutral feeling, maybe. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? So uh, that's our counterexample. It's a good counterexample. Someone's made a mistake on the, on the text. Uh, mm. So you can't say, it's not one of the 22 powers. Why? It's just general good feeling. Uh, it's not divided into physical and mental. Okay. If you say just general good feeling, it's not one of the 22 powers. It's two of the 22 powers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. You mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, then I chair with David so Lutz or the job age Okay. Uh, and generally, when we say a uh, good feeling, we often refer to the, to the, uh, when you, uh, sorry, you're talking about uh, the five feelings and the pleasure as one of the three is not one of the five, unless you're talking about in the world. When people say pleasure, they're often talking about physical pleasure, okay? So the word pleasure in English uh, does often refer to physical pleasure. Okay, cool. Uh, Geshe, can you summarize the last sentence again? I didn't get it. Yeah. Uh, when you say pleasure of the, uh, when you say the word pleasure also in English, uh, we're talking mainly tsor about a physical feeling, not a mental feeling, okay? Uh, okay. When you say pleasure, uh, normally you're talking about physical pleasures and not so much mental pleasures, okay? When you don't specify mental or physical pleasure, uh, pleasure often has more meaning of physical than mental. Then if it's mental, we call it happiness. happiness. Okay, that's all. That's all. The, the problem with the word pleasure exists also in English, okay? Normally, pleasure is a little bit more physical than mental. Uh, if you say happiness, it's always more mental than physical, okay? So he says, you know, you can't say just pleasure as one of the 22 uh, powers you have to you have to make sure that people know you're talking about mental happiness or physical good feeling you see what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in other words the division of feeling into three doesn't work in the 22 powers mm. it's too general right it's too general okay 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 uh Okay, let's 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 go to the next debate, and and let me cook that last one. I got to cook it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kramer, do you want to check? I do. Okay, Kachik duck sock one bit. Oh, duck. Where's the duck? Eh, sock. They sock one bo ngap bo kang run la lam ki kia sen. Uh, yeah, Dr. Kramer, you want to help him? Yeah, um, you know, De, Depa, um, it's, it's one of the uh, these five uh, powers. Yeah, uh, the faith. Yeah, great. Um, uh, these five, uh, Kong Drung, um, Kong Drung refers to uh, how, how, how many of the five? Any one of them? Yeah, good. Anyone good. or all. Um, yeah. all. Right. Anyone or all, typically, though. We'll have to see context to be sure. Yeah. Um, uh, Lam is easy. 
And, and to understand this argument, you guys, you have to know the, the classic synonyms of lam. Right. Yeah. Lam, topa, kemba, dunchik. Kemba. Kemba, dunchik. Lam, topa, kemba, dunchik. Okay. Kemba. Interesting. Uh, what, what are those, uh, uh, Stanley? Syn synonyms of, of lam, as in lam rim? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's what's slum rim maybe? What? What's lum mean, Stanley? What's lum mean? Lum as in lum uh, rim. I hear, it, I guess, like realization. Great, yeah, uh, super. Yeah, in philosophy, uh, path is a synonym for for a state of mind. Uh -huh. Okay, in philosophy, whenever you see path. It means a state of mind. It doesn't mean a road. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's he saying here? Dr. Uh, Kramer. Yeah. If something is um, uh, any one of the five powers, uh, Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, Samadhi, Prajna, uh, then, um, then it's got to be uh, a, a realization, a state of mind. Yeah, or a path. Uh, which, which is a... Yeah. Yeah. Isha, what are the few words you just list for path? What what what's what are the oh, uh, lam? Yeah. Dopa R T O G S Ratatatana Rotoga Sadok, which means a, a realization. Uh, okay. And Kemba Mao Karyaka Kyada Mukina Kin, which means a state of knowledge. So knowledge. Realization okay. and pa are synonyms in Buddhism. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what he says here is, uh, each one of those five good states of mind. What are the five then? Um. Uh. uh faith, power, uh, shraddha, virya, uh, 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 recollection or memory. Yeah. Uh, shraddha, virya, smriti, uh, samadhi. Uh, uh, deep meditation um, and prajna uh, wisdom. Yeah, which are uh, present strongly in the path of accumulation and the path of uh, and the path of preparation. Okay, and there and Ben's quoting the the Yoga Sutra that also lists them. Okay, second chapter, I think, right, Ben? Uh, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So first, first chapter. Well, so he says any one of those five good mental states has to be a state of realization. It's always a state of realization, okay? Ben, what's our counterexample? Let's read it together, Ben Stanley. Okay. Lama suki kamsaki shuk ki kamsaki Yuki Tang Wei Wambo Churchin. The tell the church. Okay. Uh well you know Lam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's Lam Mashuk mean? Yeah, Mashuk. It's Majuk. Manjuk. Ma Manjuk. A, a path which An is not, not entered a path which is not taken on. Let's ah. talk about a person who has yet to enter the five paths. Uh -huh. A Kansaki who hasn't. Yeah. He Islam doesn't, probably he doesn't have what, Ben? Um, well, in this case, he better not have uh, one or more of the five powers. But if he hasn't entered the five paths, what is he lacking? Tragedy. Um, oh, oh uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Either renunciation or the. Yeah, the uh, his crap. mother didn't die in his arms or something. Okay. Uh, okay, so this person hasn't yet fight, entered the five paths. Okay. Yeah. And let's consider his tongwa. Oh, his. Also faith, right? Yeah, it's a synonym for faith. It it means clear heart or something like that. Okay. Uh, it's a synonym for faith. So let's consider the clear heart uh, in the, you know, of the person who hasn't entered the path yet, okay? It is 
Tampa. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not Lam in the sense of the five Lam. Okay. Oh, it's not the faith. Wait. It, yeah, it, we don't consider it one of the five paths yet. He, he doesn't have the five paths in his mind yet. Okay? He hasn't started the five paths. Okay. Oh, is okay. it a state of understanding? Yes. Uh, is it a realization? Yes. Uh, do we get to call it the path? According to our guy, Johnny Lama, I don't want to call it a path because it's not the five paths. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's not the one of the five paths yet. All right. Okay. If, by the way, if he gets renunciation, that faith which he had before that does become one of the five paths. Okay. It's interesting. Yep. Oh. Hmm. We are um, over time. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's uh let's let's stop there in the middle. Okay. Okay. Uh Chodi Lam is being a little bit mean because he's saying all lams are one of the five lams, which is not actually true. Okay. All right. Uh five, fifteen, twenty. Good, you guys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, it'll cook and the next class we'll figure it out. Uh, one time. thing that we have to say to everyone watching this right now, it will never happen that you understand everything. Okay? Mm -hmm. If that happens, you should go do something else because you're not learning anything. Okay? All right. So, okay. All right. Nick, take a break. Yep, yep. Let's take six-minute break. Okay, and thanks again for the great mind map, Stanley. That's an excellent way to prepare for your class. I think everyone should do it, but <laughs> that's up to Nick, I guess. Okay. Uh, All right. right. So you guys doing well. Thank you, Gisela. Next, you got six minutes. <laughs> well, that's time for number one, but not number two. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.